good, everyone? It's your boy, Token Drew. And we here with another edition of Packed and Unpacked, a series where I pack a bowl and unpack some cools. And today, we have ourselves a big ass blind unboxing, baby. <laughs> yeah. So let's get right to it. After these messages. Before we get into it, I want to make sure you like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Rumor has it it helps out these channels. I, I, don't, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Let's see what it is. <laughs> oh, it's one of those unboxings, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is one of my one of my favorite forms of Godzilla. From the 2001 All Monsters Attack. This is the X Plus series. 30 centimeters tall. Let's see what they look like in real life. So before I look upon one of these in real life for the first time, let's talk about the scoring system and how we're gonna break this down. Just like in our other episodes, this will still be scored the same. Instead of clothing, I'm gonna say something like texture or something like that, but it still will be the same thing. That being said, let's see what this thing really looks like. So the packaging is minimal. Let's check him out. Yeah, this is pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Well, the instructions say to warm up this part of the tail so that way you can put it inside of here. It's meant to be seamless, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna finish up with this review. I'll be right back. Every mortal, every god, every star will feel the curse of the nightmare of the void. Universal demons and the banes of existence. The first evil, no redeeming. As old as the elders, we exist in the nothing. We warn them that life will bring that they created. Call us bluffing, but the melody, harmony. Good, everyone. We are back. And here he is. This is the X Plus. Godzilla 2001. This is from the movie Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah All Monsters All Out Attack released in 2001. One of my favorite Godzilla films and this is by far my second favorite version of Godzilla. This Godzilla is like kind of like Ermac from Mortal Kombat. He is the collection of all of the souls killed by atomic bombs. So 
So this Godzilla is evil and he is dope with his white eyes and all that other But let's talk about this figure. First off, we're gonna go down our list. Detail 20 off rip. He looks exactly like how he looked on the movie. The texture in his dorsal plates, the texture of his skin, even inside of his mouth, in his tongue, has detail. Amazing. Amazing. This is his base, right here. You, you don't get more space efficient than that. So, I dig that. Though it is not unique, I have a couple other figures like that. It's very common with tail-based figures. I'm going to give it a... 17 for base. His pose, I mean, Godzilla can only pose in but so many ways. However, I've seen online some of the other ones that look a bit cooler, but this one gets it off really well, so I'm gonna give it another 17. His paint is freaking amazing. You know, it there's even down even down to a flaw. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a couple parts on him that look a bit shiny, but that's just because of the texture and the light hitting it. Like that's gonna be an easy 20 for me. And another 20 for character accuracy. He looks exactly like his movie counterpart. This figure is not perfect though. First off, Akan is going to be the price point of these bad boys. I got him for a good price. Shout out to the eBay page I got this from, awesome, awesome collector underscore com. He gave me the hookup on this, so I really appreciate that. This is very worth it. I'm definitely going to buy it from you again, sir. Or ma'am. Or whatever. Like 2019, I can't just assume, I guess. You know, I don't like the whole vinyl feel. Minus five. Vinyl feels like too like, like a kid should be squeezing it, you know? And unfortunately, this entire line has that going for it. However, there are no better Godzilla figures than this. But this, I'm going to be getting more, for sure. Price be damned. With all that being said, his overall score before the bonus buffers was 94. Then... We add a plus five for, it's amazing. My first expression when I saw it was amazement. Another plus five. However, those two cons are gonna knock you back a peg. Minus five, minus five. So that's down to 94. Which gives this figure a certified A. 94 out of 100. Highly recommended, very beautiful. I'm so glad to have him in my collection. I'm gonna take some pictures and set him up. You know how I roll. Till then. What's good, everyone? We are back, and here he is. The 2001 GMK Godzilla from X+. Plus. Here's how he scales against the NECA figures. 
Honestly, I thought he'd be bigger. I thought he was going to be like... Big. That big. But instead... You know, but it is what it is. I'm still so impressed by this figure. So much that I've ordered two more and pre-ordered three. No, four. That fast. So you know we getting... We in here now. Shifting my collecting focus to the G-Man himself, and I'm going to build this mug up. You wait till you see what's coming. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks again. Thanks again to Awesome Collector on eBay and Facebook for giving me the sweet deal on this guy. So I'm going to get up out of here. I'm your boy. Token Drew, live up, smoke out, and game on. I'm out this bitch. Thanks for watching. Peace. You can be Batman and stands a robin. Be the marksman and never target when life comes swing and be keeping and bobbing. When it be the best, gotta strive for it. Gotta be alive, but when you die for it, gotta work hard, go hard, try for it.